Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be cooking up a nether fall recipe. I promised you guys in my last video, which is my fall grocery haul, that I would be sharing my favorite sweet potato chili recipe. I have two other chili recipes on my channel. I will definitely leave those down in the description box for you guys to check out if you have not seen those yet. But today is all about our sweet potato chili. And I know you guys are probably thinking, sweet potatoes and chili, that doesn't sound too good. That is exactly what I thought until I tried this recipe. And it is so good, you guys. I tried the sweet potato chili a few years ago at a restaurant and I was determined to recreate this recipe at home and I did just that. This recipe is so good, full of flavor, and you can definitely make it vegetarian by skipping adding the ground turkey meat. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and let's get straight to the video. So the first thing we're gonna do um, before we get started with our recipe is we're gonna go ahead and chop up all of our vegetables. So I am just using a half of an onion. I had a fairly large onion, but if you just have like a small one or a medium sized one, you can just use the whole thing. And then after that, we're gonna be chopping up our sweet potatoes. I did go ahead and peel our sweet potatoes to get all the skin off of them. And now I'm just chopping them up in small cubes. Now for the red pepper, I actually just started using the red pepper in this chili recipe. I used to not use it, but I used it one other time before this and I really liked the way it made the chili taste. So now it's definitely gonna be something I always add to my chili recipe. And I'm just using about two tablespoons of some olive oil. You can also use avocado oil as well. And we're just going to saute the vegetables, but we're not gonna put the sweet potatoes in quite yet. Just saute the peppers and the onions for a few minutes. And then I'm just adding three cloves of garlic and you're just gonna cook the garlic up until it becomes fragrant. I decided to add ground turkey to this chili recipe, but you definitely can just keep it vegetarian. When I first had this recipe, I also didn't add ground turkey to it because you really don't need it with the sweet potatoes, but I just love having meat in my chili. So that is why I opted to add it. And make sure you season your meat up with just some salt, pepper, and garlic. And you can see that the meat has a lot of juice to it. So you're definitely gonna wanna take that out to drain it before we add the meat back into the pot. So now that we have our meat all cooked up and drained, you wanna go ahead and add the sweet potatoes now. You're gonna cook the sweet potatoes for like two to three minutes with the meat. You don't have to worry about cooking the entire inside of the sweet potatoes because it's gonna to continue to cook when we pressure cook all of this. And then I usually add about one cup of chicken broth, sometimes a cup and a half because it gives it a lot of flavor and it also makes sure that the chili doesn't stick to the bottom of the Instant Pot when we pressure cook it. And I'm just adding some black beans, corn that has been drained, and then I'm adding some crushed tomatoes, which you can't have chili without crushed tomatoes. So now that we have all of our ingredients that we need added to the Instant Pot, you can go ahead and season it. I added quite a bit of seasoning, as you can see. I've made chili so much that I just don't measure anymore. I just know exactly how much to put in here, but if you are new to making chili or if you would like my chili seasoning recipe, I will leave it down in the description box for you guys, and you can just make it in a mason jar, and then that way you'll always have it whenever you make chili. You can just add it straight from the mason jar into your pot. It makes things really easy, but like I said, I've made it so much that I just know exactly how much to add. So go ahead and put your top on the ins pot and you are going to be cooking this on ceiling. Make sure you have it on ceiling and we're gonna be pressure cooking it for eight minutes. So as you guys can see, I forgot to tell you before I put the lid on the Instant Pot, I did not stir everything up because when you stir the chili up, the tomatoes stick at the bottom. So really make sure you don't stir it before pressure cooking it. And I forgot to add some garlic, so I just went ahead and threw some garlic in the chili. All right, so I wanted to share with you guys how the soup starts to look if you kind of just let it sit here for a bit. It gets very thick. So you saw when I originally stirred it, it was kind of watery. I just let it sit for like 10 minutes and it really thickens up to a really good soup. I really don't like my chili to be watery. So this is like the perfect consistency. I did try some and added a little bit more um, seasoning to everything, but I will leave the exact seasoning measurements down in the description box for you guys. And this is all ready to serve. You can see how good that looks. Looks amazing. And it smells incredible too. Okay guys, so the chili is all done. It looks really good. I'm gonna kinda come in close to you guys. I don't wanna turn this chili and spill it, but I did top it with some cilantro, some cheese, and some fresh avocado. That just kinda takes it to the next level. You definitely don't have to do that, but it makes it so much more better. So I wanna get a bite with the avocado. 
and what I like about the soup is when we first like stirred it you can see that it was kind of watery now the soup is so thick so I'm really happy about that so well my favorite part about the chili is the corn, the black beans, the ground turkey, the red pepper. You really just taste all that flavor. It is seriously so good. It like doesn't taste anything like my other chili recipes. Definitely has its own taste and I really like it. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed me sharing one of my favorite chili recipes with you guys. Definitely check the description box for my other two favorite chili recipes. I have quite a few if you cannot tell. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Hit that subscribe button and I will be seeing you guys very soon with a new video. Bye!